What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Hershey Act and today we have more shocking details about Skyrush and all the new changes that are coming to it in 2024. Hershey Park just gave us a ton of information on their social media pages. So let's just dive in. On their Facebook and Instagram page, Hershey Park gave us three new images of Skyrush and this is the first time we're seeing the restraints in actual real life photo, not an AI generated photo. So let's see what the caption has to say. It reads, check out this new sneak peek at the all new first class seats on Skyrush. Trains are getting back on track as we get ready to open next weekend. Make plans to ride starting March 29th. It's not really a whole lot of new detail there. All the detail we know is in the images themselves. I'm going to look at this first image where we can still see that this still kind of aligns with the Velocicoaster restraints in terms of appearance. We don't know that for certain, but they look awfully identical, except this one has an attached seatbelt along with a red tag for the ride ops to pull to ensure the, uh, the restraint is locked. But I want to talk about the amount of distance and the gap you have from the restraint to the bottom of the seat. Now, of course, this is just for test runs, so this is probably going to be the minimal position required to run the ride. It'll probably be much closer to your thighs, as you can see in the second train on the left, or the second seat on the left, I should say. But either way, this is still a lot more room than we had how it used to be on Skyrush. This should allow for a lot more airtime, a lot more comfortability, and overall, just propelling this thing to the next level. It's just crazy the amount of room that you might be able to have on Skyrush. It's absolutely crazy, it has me so excited. That room is insane. Now, if we move on over to the second image, this is where things start to get a bit more fun. This is just gonna be pure speculation on my end, but it appears this second photo is inside what looks to be a new and improved station for Skyrush. The first thing that's gonna catch your eye is that new flooring that still has that iconic blue and yellow color scheme. But that is a completely new paint design that we have not seen before, and it looks like we might be getting an all new station for Skyrush as well. That would make sense as they're changing the whole branding of the ride along with the new logo, the new tagline, Fly First Class. It would only make sense that they have a new station. Again, I'm not sure how much it's going to be different. It looks like they have some new black tiles on the back side as well based on that image. But that flooring looks so, so good. It looks so clean. It really just pops with that light blue on the trains. I really like that color scheme they have going on there. But I'm not sure how much of the station is going to be different. This photo doesn't really give us a whole lot to work with. But based on what Hershey Park has done in the past with July Ranch Remix, Wildcats Revenge, they really started modernizing their new coaster stations for their new rides. So it wouldn't shock me if Hershey went all out here. But all we know for sure is we have some new black tiles in the back, some sick new flooring, and it just looks absolutely sick. Then lastly, on the third image they gave us, this is just a more of a close-up image of the first image with a straight-on view, just detailing the restraint again. Obviously, you see the added seatbelt and the red bar that the ride ops will pull to secure the restraint is locked. Um, this is just another view to show how much room you have on these restraints. It's absolutely crazy how much airtime you might have again. Surely, when you're on the ride, that lap bar is probably going to be a lot closer to your body, I would imagine. Um, but it's still a lot more room than we had before, and it makes sense that's going to be a lot more room. One of the big problems with Skyrush is a lot of guests were not able to fit into the restraints. So by making the seats bigger, not having as much or more room for your restraint to lock, it's going to allow for more people to ride, more accessibility. It's always a plus, and it, it looks great. I mean, these three, three new images just has me so hyped. Opening day is coming so quick. March 29th is only like a week away now. It's just absolutely crazy. It's crazy how close opening day is coming. I'm sure we're going to be getting more and more news as the days come across. But these three new images have me so excited. Let me know what you guys think about these three new images in the comments down below. What do you think about Skyrush? Do these new images have you more excited? What could we get perhaps for a new station? So much is being teased right now. And if you want all the details, make sure you subscribe, guys. This is your number one place for all things Hershey Park. And if you like more breaking news like the video you just saw, make sure to subscribe, comment down below, hit the like button, help me defeat the YouTube algorithm. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope to see you all you guys at Hershey Park opening day, which is only days away. But with that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and hope to see you soon from the Hershey Act. See you soon, guys. What a wonderful